Welcome to Larry's Library. This week, what I got for you is the Avengers Kree Scroll War Gallery Edition. That is a mouthful and it's hard to say. You won't believe how many takes I, I had to do to get the Kree Scroll coming out right. <laughs> anyway, this is another big, beautiful gallery edition from Marvel. I love these gallery editions. If you've watched uh, many of uh, the past reviews on this channel, you'll know that I have a real passion for the Marvel gallery edition. I think it's the best format available today for a comic book uh, collections. It's awesome. Uh, the retail on it is uh, $44.99 MSRP, but you're a sucker if you pay that, you know. So if you go to InStockTrades.com right now, as of the time of this shooting, it is still in stock, and it's twenty. It's about $27.89. I don't know if that's including my 2% discount uh, for past orders. It's a loyalty discount, so it might be a little higher if you don't have the 2%, but under $30 uh, will get it to you from InStockTrades.com, and that's how I recommend you do it. Anyway, this is written by Roy Thomas. The, all of the issues collected here is, by, is written by the great Roy Thomas, and it has some beautiful artwork by Neil Adams, Sal Buscema, and his brother John Buscema, Big John. And uh, Tom Palmer does a lot of the inks in here, not all of them, but he is one of my favorite inkers of all time. If you haven't watched my top 10 favorite inkers, I'll put a link to that somewhere. Never can get that direction correct, but it'll be on your right at the top. How's that? <laughs> anyway, yeah, this one collects Avengers 89 through 97. Very celebrated uh, storyline, the, the Kree Scroll War. Hard to say, but fun to read. <laughs> and I do love these. Um, this run a lot. It's a very seminal work, at Mar you know, for Marvel. It's very historical. You probably heard all about it, but you may not have read it. It has been out in trade paperback before, and this is collected in uh, one of the Avengers omnibuses, which I have and love. So this is a double dip for me, and it, well, it might even be a triple dip because I may have a few of those single issues that I've kept from my original uh, single issue comic collection before I downsized greatly to do all this. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, double or, double or triple dip, whichever, it was worth it for me to see this beautiful Neil Adams art in this gigantic oversized format. This book is, the, the Marvel Gallery editions, if you're not familiar, they are slightly larger than a DC Absolute. So, this is pretty close to the actual 11 by 17 uh, Bristol board that most comic book uh, art was done on at that time. And um, a lot of it is still done that way that isn't done all digitally. Uh, so, yeah, it's great. If you're a Neil Adams fan, this is something you want to get. If you're a fan of Roy Thomas, this is something you'll want to get. If you're an Avengers fan, you definitely want to get it. And it is really fun seeing Neil Adams at, at his height, arguably, uh, drawing some of the, the mainstays of the Marvel Universe. You know, you, you see his take on the Skrulls and the Kree, of course, and uh, the Fantastic Four are integral of this, too. So you see Neil Adams doing the FF. Beautiful, beautiful work. Uh, yeah, it, it's just a fun, it's a really fun, fun ride. So if you haven't read the Kree Scroll War issues yet, this would be a great format to do it. And if you have read it and you love it, and you love that really almost full size as drawn art, then this is the one you, you need to pick up. And of course, this is a, as all the gallery editions that I own have come in with a great build. Just Beautiful build quality, no problems with the binding or the pages. Spot on. Good work, Marvel. Oddly enough, uh, all of the galleries I have were printed at the iMac printer in Turkey. So, you know, we've had a lot of bad omnibuses come through that printer, but yet uh, the gallery editions they do, all from my s uh, small sampling that I have, they're spot on great. No quality issues. So, good, good there, yeah. So yeah, as I said, the best part of this whole thing for me is seeing the beautiful Neil Adams artwork. Now, I do like Sal Buscema as well, and I like John Buscema quite a bit, but Neil Adams art is really something special, something you need to experience if you haven't as a comics fan. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's good stuff, and you'll want to pick this up. I'll, I'm, I've already been running some scans of that to give you some examples of how great that is. And Tom Palmer's inks over Neil Adams. <laughs> It's, uh, it, it ranks up there. I won't quite put it as high as John Byrne and Terry Austin, but it's in that ballpark for me. This book also makes a great companion piece to the Thomas Adams X-Men Gallery Edition, if you have that. 
and I think the uh, years on it aren't too far off from one another. So very similar uh, point of progression in Neil Adams' art can be seen in this that you get with the X-Men. I think the X-Men gallery is a little bit later in time, if I recall correctly. Didn't look it up, so memory. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I give this 9 out of 10. Not sure why I wouldn't go 10. I think it's a little uneven at times, and the art changes, although all three are great artists. Uh, if it would have been more consistent, say, Neil Adams did the whole thing, or even John Buscema did the whole thing, you know, I would probably go 10 out of 10. But as it is, it's a strong 9 for me. So this is 9 out of 10. Uh, I definitely recommend you pick it up. It's great stuff from a great era as well. So that's all I got for today. Make it short and sweet if I can. Uh, I respect your time on this channel. But anyway, if you want to see more, more of my reviews, uh, hauls and unboxings, that sort of thing, and some specials here and there, top 10s, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell, notify yourself so you don't miss out. And I will see you in the next one.